Hi beauties, it's Jean with Beauty and the Stamper and today we're gonna use the Tropical Leaf. I'm so excited. I also have the Double Oval Punch. I do have the Tropical Leaf Punch and I've got some different colors here. Granny Apple Green, Old Olive and Garden Green. I also, of course, have the stamp set. We're gonna be using the large leaf, the larger um, veins and then the word hello. I also have a piece of uh, basic white thick. I have it cut long ways. So I cut it at four and a half and then scored at, or I'm sorry, cut it at four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. I have a piece of garden green and I cut that at four by five and a quarter. And then I have this piece of designer series paper gingham in it looks like the pecan pie right yeah and we've got that um, cut at three and three quarter by five so first thing I want to do is before I start using this I'm gonna stick this in here get it all the way up there and cut out these pieces because I want to get this oval piece, this I'll save for something else, but I want this oval piece for my card and I might as well use that there. And then you can use the leaf, cut that guy out, and then you have a nice leaf as well. And you're using a bunch of space, but nobody's gonna see it because we are gonna put it right down here as a background. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to burnish this down with my bone folder. And then we'll get this part started right away because I already have the piece. I don't want to get it any crazy um, torn or anything like that since it's a little bit thinner. And I'm just going to add some tape in some places. And we're going to line this up. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead with the gingham. Decide if you want the smaller or the larger. I like the larger for this pro project. same thing line that up I line up these corners make sure that they're all straight that everything is around the same on the corners then I know that it's going to be around here all right so now I'm going to just get a piece of basic white thick and we are going to play with the leaves I've got my granny apple green and these are the Monstera leaves. I love how pretty these plants are. And they're always different colors. So I'm going to, in the Granny Apple Green, put that full ink on there. Then I'm gonna get my brush with the green and I'm gonna put that in the Garden Green. And I'm just gonna tap a little bit here on the sides and tap that there. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of the old olive and give it a little bit of some color here. So that's it, not a lot, but it's making those different colors. And we're just gonna pop that down just like that and you can see all those different colors there around the leaf and then I'm gonna close this up so I don't get ink everywhere I'm gonna leave out the um, granny apple green for just a moment and we're gonna get our hello and I'm gonna ink that up really well 
we're gonna put that hello right there. All right. You see how easy that is. Now, if you think you can't stamp, if I could do it that quickly and easily, you can too. Now, we're gonna take this and we're gonna punch it out. I just like to get a nice white border all around and I'm gonna punch this first because now I'm gonna go in with my double oval punch and get that hello in there. Right center where I like it. And then I punch that. And see, that's why we punched the Monstera leaf out first, because otherwise we would have been cutting into that leaf. So I've got my hello. We've got this little beauty here. We're going to put our card together. And just line this up the best that you can. Perfect. I'm gonna get a couple of these guys here, little dimensionals. And then um, I already uh, cut this out, but we do need to get the veins on there. So I'm gonna go with some garden green. And we're just gonna line those veins up and pop them down and look at how beautiful that is. All right, you wanna make as many of these as you want. I made a few already. So let's go ahead, here's the one we just made. And then I have a couple more with some dimensionals on the back. And now we're gonna put our card all together. Bring this little guy out here. I am going to kind of put a little piece here, a little piece here, and a little piece here, kind of like a half circle. Then I've got some twine and I'm just gonna put pieces of that twine kind of zigzagging back and forth here and attaching it with the um, tape so just like that just kind of all over the place like like a vine would grow right and now we're gonna take, and I'm gonna take uh, the one that we made that does not have dimensionals on it, and I'm gonna put this one down. And we're just gonna kinda go and put that one down all the way. Then with this, I'm gonna get out my take your pick tool, get rid of these little backings. and put this over the twine. So you see the twine sticking out and we're gonna put it over the um, taped area as well. And then the same with this. We're gonna do the same thing here. Don't worry about any of these coming out and about and around because we're still gonna use those. And then we take our little hello here. And we're gonna put that right in here. Just like that. And now to finish it all off, 
I've got the um, adhesive back metallics here. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put one there. We'll put another one down here. And then maybe a little one kind of right there. And then I'm gonna anchor these two down just like that. And look at how cute that is. Isn't that a quick and adorable card? And you just send it off to your friends. It's got dimension. It's got different um, texture. It is a beautiful, fun piece. I hope you like it. Again, you can buy any of this stuff online on my shop. Go to beautyinthestamper.com, hit the shop Stampin' Up button, and you can buy the bundle with the um, punch and the photopolymer stamp, stamp set. All right, beauties, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. 